In this video, I'm going to talk about reports again. So you may have seen on our channel that there are already several videos showing how can we address reporting in big picture, in structure, but for a lot of our customers, these are not sufficient. More robust solution is required for them. And this is where usually EasyBI comes into play. So today I'll go, I'm gonna give you overview of EasyBI. Uh, this is tool that is really powerful. So we'll just touch the surface of possibilities, but I want you to have uh, overall understanding what this tool is capable of. This video is part of our effort to provide the best possible training for Jira, Confluence and whole Atlassian ecosystem. If you would like to support us, leave a like under the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if you have any further questions. And remember, you can always reach out to us for one of our paid services like training, consultations or implementation. There is several things we'll cover in this video, but let's start with how reports are created in EasyBI. So obviously, if you install EasyBI on your instance, it will be available under apps. Uh, and here, you have folders and you are also able to create new folder or new report. Let's just quickly create a new report. And you'll see that you'll get moved into the report creation page, which initially might be a bit of an overwhelming. You just have a lot of boxes and you do not really know uh, what to do. But let's think what kind of information we want to show and then we'll go step by step showing how can we get this information. So let's assume that we want to get information about how much time was spent on each project by each user in specific time frames, right? So let's look how to configure it. Uh, we want to know who logged the time, right? So I will take the logged by box and drag it into my rows section because I want it to be the rows. And already you can see that all users, well, at the moment created uh, 302 issues. This is not what we want, but in a moment we'll come to that. Except the information, who logged the time, I want to see project and on which issue the time was locked. So over here, I will drag issue section and also put it in the rows below logged by. Now you can see that I have two columns over here, all users, all issues. It's not the greatest because I would have to click here to drill down to see the details. Uh, but let's check over here, logged by, see the hierarchy members, I will select the user. So this will mean that after the report is loaded, we see the users right away. So let me click that. The data disappeared, it will be okay in a moment. Uh, so we, we've talked what we want to see as the rows, so basically the users and the issues, let's talk about what we want to see in the columns. So we've seen the number of issues, issues created, no other useful information for us, I will deselect this. But here in the time tracking section are the information that are interesting to me. So hours spent, we want to see how many hours users spent and let's maybe also display original estimate and remaining estimate. Uh, you can see that there is quite a lot of measures, uh, so there is a lot to pick from. We could have way, way, way more columns, but fortunately it's pretty easy to look for them because there is a quick search over here. So you can just start typing what you are interested in and you will get the information here. Okay, so let's collapse this one and yeah, now it looks as I would expect, so there is there is myself, basically only I logged some work on this instance, so only one row. All issues, I can expand this section and see, okay, here I have projects, so I locked 66 hours on, on one project, two hours on the other. I can drill down even deeper and see specific issues. No estimates were provided for, for these ones. So the report is already starting to, to uh, have yeah, basically have a form that we would expect it to. But now, what else can we do over here? Let's say that 
we would like to display only information about specific issue type on which I logged work because maybe we're not so much interested in, in some support work I've been doing, only on development work, this is what we want to report. Uh, so there is a third section over here called pages and I will drag over here issue types and in a moment you will see what is the result. So you can see that over here a selector was added. So I can expand this and basically I can decide what kind of issues at the moment I want to, uh, I want to see. So let's pick a story and now report will be limited to displaying only information coming from story issue type. Uh, I could select multiple, so let's say that everything except the bug, right? Here it is. So we can have mul not only multiple levels of rows because you can see that in first level I have I have user, in the second level I have uh, project and issue. I could add some more levels here by adding next boxes uh, in the row section, but also we can have filtering on top of that. So I have issue type filtering. I've also mentioned that we want to see uh, see time logged in specific period of time. So I will drag time over here. So now I have all time that I can drill down and basically decide what I want to see. What is, if it's a specific quarter, a specific month, week, or even a day. Uh, and over here, if I expand this, I can also decide, do I want to aggregate the information uh, month, monthly, yearly, quarterly, or any other way. So this already gives us a lot of flexibility because we can create one large table with a lot of information, but then using these filters, nicely narrow down to only things that are really relevant for us. So although this report already is able to provide us a lot of information, especially if you would add uh, some more columns over here. Uh, so yeah, there we can add some agile. So how many story points tasks were estimated to uh, where issue, when issues were created and so on and so on. So there is really vast, vast, uh, that there are vast possibilities over here. But the form of a report might not be what everyone would expect because this is basically a plain table. Uh, not everyone likes that. A lot of people prefer to have them the, the reports visualized. Fortunately, over here at the top, you can see that there is that there are other options. So basically the default one is the table. But we can go over to bar and you'll see that then the data will be visualized as the bars. So I should have three bars here, one for our spend original estimate remaining uh, estimate because of the lack of data on those two, I have only one. And you can see that I have it divided by the, de by the project and uh, by the users currently only one. I can click, click on the project, drill, drill, click drill down into and we will see the details about this project. So how many uh, hours were spent on each specific task. And by the way, in the table format, we can do exactly the same. So if we collapse project, or basically we can, we can uh, click on the hours spent, drill through work logs, and we will see each specific work log that is contributing to this number. So it's not only just a number, if something feel, doesn't feel right with this number, we can drill down and investigate over here. Uh, so le let me get back to the Easy BI page. I won't save that report. Uh, there is actually several sample reports. So I will quickly show you one of them. Average resolution time. So this shows us what was the average resolution uh, time of the issues in specific time period. So first of all, you can see that these issues are grouped by months. Uh, we could go over here and decide to group them by days, for example, then it will be more, uh, more granular. Uh, 
And what is interesting, if we look at the filtering, you can see that there is several options to filter by time, for example. So we could just uh, drill down to all the times, but we also can focus on last 12 months, on current year, on previous year. And this is done here in the pages in filtering. So if we'll just want to focus on this option of all times and maybe last 12 months, we will disable current year, previous year. And you can see that now only those two options are visible. Uh, okay, so as you might have expected, the average resolution date, this is a measure. So it's over here. This is the one that is selected. And actually, if we switch over to the table, you will see that average resolution date, resolution days are as a column here. But there is additional column here. Linear average resolution days. So it basically shows us the trend. Uh, and this is this line, how it is done. Uh, this is more complex and advanced feature of EZBI. So if we click over here, edit calculated, you can see that there is a pretty complex calculation over here. So what EZBI allows us to do is it allows us to add our own metrics and measures that are calculated in one way or another based on other JIRA data. So over here, uh, there is a calculation uh, calculating basically a trend, uh, but we could add some other things uh, depending on our needs. If something is not directly stored on issue level, uh, we can just calculate this in EZBI. Okay, so that was the report creation. Now, what can we do with these reports? Because obviously, uh, we can go into analyze section of big picture that you've already seen, go over here, uh, go into specific report and, and uh, work on it or check what's the data over there. But that's not the solution for everyone. If you want to provide some information to, uh, to the end user of Jira, maybe to developers, maybe to management, yeah, we won't ask them to go to analyze section of, of, of EZBI, right? Uh, fortunately, there is an option or solution for that too. There are dashboards, for example. So over here, we can create a dashboard where we will put multiple reports. So you can see that average resolution days that we've just seen are like half page over here. So yeah, we can add this. Uh, we could add new reports, decide whether they should fill whole screen or not. So basically we can define dozens of reports and select several that are important for a specific group of stakeholders, put them on a dashboard, create dashboard for them and just uh, aim them at the dashboard. Here, they will not be able to modify the reports as we've seen uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the analyze section, but they can still, still do the uh, filtering uh, they can still drill through the data. So basically all the information that they will need is over here. Now, these dashboards are easy BI specific dashboards, but we can put them also on Jira dashboard. So I will go to default Jira dashboard, uh, edit, and you will see that we are able to add new gadget we can just add easy BI dashboard over here, uh, select the dashboard that we want to display here. And the information that is available on the dashboard will be visible on standard Jira dashboard. So let's just save it. And here it is. EasyBI is an app that at first contact may seem a bit overwhelming, but it's actually really easy to create advanced reports using just the basic features of EasyBI. And when on top of that, we put more advanced features like creating on our own measures, then there is not many things that EasyBI cannot do. If, not, if you're not sure that it's an app for you, if it addresses your needs, if it will be able to provide you the reports that, that you require, feel free to contact us. I'm sure we'll be able to help. And that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and see you in the next one.